Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, today I'm going to be, I showed you in uh, the previous video how to do the um, Easter eggs for a girl. So this time I'm going to show you how to do the Easter egg for the boy. So one of the things I want you to take into consideration is that this video is not to say this is what you have to use. I'm just giving you some ideas on things that you can put inside the um, eggs. Now this egg is from Walmart. Walmart had these for $3.88. It holds 21 eggs. They also sell them at the Dollar Tree um, for $3. And they actually hold, I want to say 20, I think it was 20 eggs. But it's a little bit smaller than this one. Okay, at the Dollar General or Dollar Tree. I can't remember which one it was. But it was $3 and it was a little bit shorter than this one. Not, not very much. And I showed you in the girl video them side by side. Okay, so if you want to take a look at the difference, you can look at that video. So, I've already, for this tutorial, um, you're going to, of course, need your egg. And I have some little... Um, glitter vase fillers but i'm going to be putting this on top of my grass you're going to need a bag of grass i got this at the dollar tree um they didn't have blue so i just went with green and then i have four eggs that i'm going to fill you can use more i'm also going to be placing the jelly beans inside as well as some of the bubble gum eggs and i have peanut butter eggs and then, of course, I have the name, Happy Easter. I've already printed these out or cut these out um, using my Cricut. So I'm going to be putting those on. And then I have my two little boy stickers that I'm going to be placing on here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place the Happy Easter on one side. And then I'm going to put the name on the other side so i have one little piece of uh transfer tape same transfer tape i used last time for the girl egg and i'm just going to use my um weeding tools here this is the spatula let me kind of aim that down hopefully so you guys can see it this is the spatula um you can get these from walmart hobby lobby joann's michael's any of them will sell the Cricut tools. <clears throat> and I will put in the description the font and the font size that I use for this because I don't remember offhand. But I think it's easier to go ahead and place this before I start filling up my egg, so to speak. So... Yeah, you can put whatever you want inside your eggs, guys. I'm just giving you some ideas and, you know, things that you can do to try to do these. Because I know a lot of people were asking, like, how many eggs do you put in the inside of it? Because it comes with, you know, the empty eggs already for you to pre-fill with whatever you want to put inside of them. Um, I just use my finger for this part because you're dealing with the rounded surface you know, sometimes you have to kind of play around with, uh, you know, your letters to get them to stick. Sometimes they'll seem like they don't want to lay down flat. So you have to kind of play with it a little bit. So that's why I use my fingers. Because I just think it's easier when I'm working with the rounded surface. Okay. So now we have the Happy Easter on there. And then I'm just going to use my hand to kind of gauge 
the side that it should be on for the name. So we're going to get, because I really want it to be on opposite sides. That's That way, when you look on one side of it, it's going to have the name, and then the, on the other side, it's going to have the Happy Easter. You could put the Happy Easter on the clear part if you so choose. Whatever works for you, again, this is just giving you uh some ideas not that you have to do exactly what i'm doing and you don't even have to put candy you can put healthy things inside healthy snacks inside guys it doesn't have to necessarily be you know sweet stuff all right so i can see my happy easter on that side i'm going to place the jamarius down and just use my fingers and get this to lay somewhat flat and then I'll finish it up. All right, so we have the name. And you can see it doesn't take a lot, guys. I use this font because I figured it would be easier to work with. The thinner the font, the more work you have to kind of put into it. So that's why I use a thicker but nicer font. All right, so we have Happy Easter on one side and Jamarius on the other side. And then I'm going to take my transfer tape and I'm just going to stick it right back on for the next time I need to use it. Um, the sticker paper that I'm using, I would highly recommend that you print out or you you could do the boy two times and the girl two times on one sticker sheet and that way you could do you'd have uh the boy for the blue and the girl for the pink or however but you could get four decals on that one sheet of sticker paper according to cricut with their six by six point seven five by nine point two five you know print size restrictions all right, so now we have that in our egg. The next thing we're going, or on our egg, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the grass in. Now, I hate the grass part. I'm just going to be honest with you because this stuff makes worse mess than glitter does. So I absolutely hate this. Um, but I like to put, I got a little blue bear for the boy. Um, if you wanted to do iron on, you could iron the name inside the little ears, but I'm not going to go that far, but that is a thought. Um, or you could do sublimation on it. Either one will work as an idea <clears throat> to, you know, flatten that out like that and then sub a name on the inside would be really cute. So I stick my bunny rabbit down in and then I put the grass in there you can do yours where you know you have the grass all down and then oh i hate this stuff <laughs> and then you put the bunny rabbit on top but i figured it would be easier to do it this way because then i could get more inside if that makes sense these scissors are trash i have killed them with all the different stuff I've cut along the way. And it doesn't take much because it's only so deep. This uh, egg is only so deep. And you don't have to worry about making sure you get it all in there because I go around once I try to close this up, I cut that off anyway. So just so you guys know. <clears throat> All right, so we got a little bunny rabbit going. I have four eggs, and I'm going to take and put a couple of bubblegum eggs in each one. And you want to make sure you're not touching these guys. You know, I'm just putting two. You can fill it up if you so choose. All right, so we got a little blue. Oh, before I put those in, I'm going to drop a couple of these in just for a little splash of color. Okay. so hopefully you guys can see that just fine 
and we're going to start putting that in. I'm going to stick the little jellies in like that. So hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. So we got the name, Jamarius. <laughs> These little jelly beans is not having it. They just tilted everything over to the side. Okay. So we got jelly bean, jelly bubble gum. And I'm going to put chocolate, the peanut butter, eggs over in there. And like I said, you could put more than what I'm putting. I'm only doing it just for demonstration purposes. So I'm not getting very, you know, like a whole bunch of them in there. And we'll take that last egg and drop another piece of chocolate over in there. And try to get creative with your colors so that you're not having just, you know, one set on there. And then once you get all of your stuff inside, let's kind of bring that up here. Once you get all your stuff inside, um, I just kind of do like another little haircut trim. <clears throat> and... Now we're ready to, we have everything in there. I had stickers for the girl, and I bought stickers for the boy, but I do believe that Dollar Tree got me, because they were not in my bag. But I do remember having them at the register. All right, so that's going to close up nicely. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit, like that. So I'm trying to turn it so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to take the boy sticker and I'm going to place some tape on it. Let me get some tape. And that way I can kind of stick it to where it'll kind of sit up. Actually, I'm going to have to turn this around because I really want the Jamarius name to be facing the back side because I want to put the bigger one on that side so I'm going to have to shift this a little bit there we go that's how I want it happy Easter my hair I don't know why I want to call these hair bow but Anyway, you guys get the drift. I want the Jamarius on the side. I mean the Happy Easter on that side and the Jamarius on the side. That way, when I put the little boy on the outside of the egg, it, it gives this a background for it. So it doesn't, you can't like just see straight through. So I'm going to take and put my little boy sticker in. And I stick this, I put a little piece of tape on the sticker. I don't take the sticker part the backing off and I just stick it on one of the eggs so that it won't like hide and I didn't really put enough grass in here but you guys can see the little boy sitting down in there like that and we're gonna go ahead and close it up and see what it looks like I don't want these egg these uh jelly beans all up in the bear's little bunny rabbit's face so you kind of have to play around with it a little bit let's see what we get now all right here we go so we got a little boy down in there. We got our little bunny rabbit. And like I said, you can clip off any little ends that are like sticking out. You can clip those or you can pull them out. Sometimes they'll continue to bring out more if you pull it. So that's why I kind of clip it. But the object is to get, you know, where it's very little. And this is the part where you want to take now and put your sticker on the outside, okay? 
and then you have that kind of as a, a background. So I'm going to peel my sticker here. And we're going to place it in the center, kind of like of the name. So let me kind of gauge it here before I put it down. And if it kind of, you know, feel like it's not laying down flat, just use your fingers, guys. It's a sticker. The kids are probably going to peel it off anyway. You know how kids are. But I just use my nails to kind of get out as much as I can. But I start pushing from the center and then outward to try to alleviate some of those little ridges that you may get. Okay. There you have it. We got our little boy Easter basket or Easter egg now. And that is what it, it looks like. So now we got the boy. We got the Jamarius on one side. You can kind of shift it a little bit. We got Jamarius on the one side. And then we got the Happy Easter on the other side. Um, I'll probably put a little bit more grass in here so that I can move my little boy up. But just to show you here, now we have the boy and the girl. And I'll put more grass in here so that I can bring the little boy up so that he'll be sitting up like the girl is. And so you got the Happy Easter on one side. And then you got the name Micaiah and Jamarius on the other side. Okay. So that's it. Like I said, you can put whatever you want in here, but this was just to give you guys an idea of how you could decorate your, um, decorate these eggs. Because I know we, I've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, how many eggs can you put in there? What do you put inside the egg? So like I said, this is just a general idea of what you can do for these Easter eggs that you get from Walmart or Dollar General. Um, so that's it, guys. I promised you guys I would show you this. You could even take some of the eggs and put them on the outside if you so choose. I just know most kids like to open stuff and find more things inside of it. So that's why I put it inside the eggs. But I will, like I said, put more grass. Got to get my mind right for it. I'm going to put more grass in this one. Pop it up a little bit so that I can pop him up just like I got her sitting up there okay so if you're in my facebook group you'll see the finished product with the little boy sitting up um i want to say at this time thank you guys so much for subscribing to my youtube channel and if you're not currently subscribed to my youtube channel and you like my method of teaching then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you're currently following me on Facebook, my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, I want to thank you guys so much for um, following me on Facebook. If you are not and you would like to join my Facebook group, it's Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. Um, it is a private group, so you do have to send a Facebook group request to join us. And um, if for whatever reason my group members forget to come check out my YouTube, I always link my videos to my Facebook so they never miss out um, by having to go to YouTube. They can always get the link from my Facebook group. And I use my Facebook as a method or another way to help new crafters with all the different things that you see on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram on how to craft these nice items okay all right that's my story i'm sticking to it guys um again i'll post in the description all the sizes for like the little boy and the happy easter and the names i'll post all that in the description in this um in this video so you'll have that information to work with but you see how the bunny rabbit kind of gives the background a little bit of a background to your images or your decal so that it's you're not just able to see straight through okay so that's why i do it like that with the back side of the teddy to the image okay all right guys that's my story i'm sticking to it you know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one and you guys have a great day bye